Hello, my name is Kirsten. I'm a technical educator intern here at Web3 Foundation. And today we're going to be exploring why might your transfer be failing? So let's begin. A variety of ways that a portion of the dot or KSM in your amount can be locked or unable to be transferred. We're gonna head over to polkadot.js.org slash apps and we're gonna head over to the accounts page. So accounts, and then you click on accounts. On this page, we're going to take a look at um, the possible um, reasons that you might have a lock on your account. To do so, you can click on the little arrow button that's beside all of the balances. Underneath this tab, you might see um, locks for the following reasons. So one, you might be vesting, which means you have to wait a certain number of blocks before transferring. You should see um, a clock icon by mousing over it, and it will show how many blocks um, until the vesting period is over and the tokens can be transferred. You might also see a staking lock um, associated with your account. So you might have some tokens bonded for staking. For this, you will need to unbond your tokens before transferring. And this will take roughly 28 days on Polkadot and seven days on Kusama. You might also see a democracy lock for your account, which means you either voted for a referendum, which uh, can include a time lock or um, a council vote. So meaning you have locked some of your tokens for voting for Polkadot or Kusama council members. And these are just a few of the possibilities. There are many others, such as having reserved funds, such as here, um, for identity registration, a proposal, treasury proposal, or tip, etc. Locks in Polkadot and Kusama are lazy, and you must unlock them with a transaction. Generally, you should be able to unlock expired locks by clicking on the three dots associated with your account in the UI. So if you click here, you should be able to uh, select um, unlock, uh, depending if you have locks on your account or not. So this will change uh, depending on that. So very old locks are not supported by the Polkadot.js UI. For this, you will have to issue extrinsics to see and unlock them. In the case that you still cannot transfer and you don't see any, any locks on your page, we're going to do the following. All right, so we're going to head over to developer. We're going to click on chain state and it's going to bring us to this page. So we're going to head over to the query and select the balances palette. Once we have this, we're going to click on the locks function right here. And in this account ID field, we can choose whichever account we would like to see the locks for. Um, or we can toggle this option and then press the plus button and this will load in all of the locks for all of the system. It might take a minute to load um, all of these because there might be a lot of locks. And if you'd like to check out your democracy locks, we're going to issue another query. So make sure that you click on the democracy palette in the query field and then again um, the locks function here. We're going to select which account that we would like to see the democracy locks for. For example, um, this one. And then we're going to hit the plus button. And as you can see, I don't have any democracy locks on here, but if you would, you would have the information in between these two brackets. So in the case that you have some democracy locks, you can remove them by heading over to the extrinsics so that is underneath developer and if you click on extrinsics that will bring you to this page um, on this page we're going to select the account that will um, send that that has some tokens on there to pay for transaction fees um, so you can choose any account uh, to pay for those fees even ones unassociated with the uh, the target account here and for the palette, we're going to choose on democracy.unlock target. And then the this target is the account that we are going to remove the democracy lock from. So if you have a democracy lock on one of your accounts, you would select them here. And I, once again, this selected account would just pay for those transaction fees. 
and then you would hit sign submit transaction and that would remove the democracy log from um, this target account. Um, I hope you've learned a little bit about why your transfer might be failing and um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to us and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!